what's up you guys welcome back to momeni's channel so i am coming to you live from sacramento i bought you guys on a little road trip with me um so i basically had to bust a mission and come to sacramento to see my orthodontic um or is it orthodontist i don't know but you guys know what i mean um i didn't want to look for a new orthodontist yet so I came to see my old one. I actually drove all the way over here. I drove a fucking, I did a fucking mission. So I actually stopped in Fresno for the night because it's like a six hour drive um, from LA to Sacramento. So here I am. I'm gonna uh, tighten up my braces and then I gotta go do my nails after this with my fave Alondra. But I want to show you guys my dentist. They're called Precision Orthodontics. They're super good. If you guys live in the Sacramento area, I recommend that you guys check them out. Um, they do payment plans and stuff too if you don't have no credit and like you can't afford to pay it off. Um, and they don't do no credit checks. So just a little helper because I know like when I was looking for my braces, like I was worried about like uh, making payments on it. But they'll actually work with you in case you guys were interested. But anyways... Um, let me go get my teeth tightened up. Um, let me figure out what color I want to do. I got baby blue today, but let's see. I'm out of the orthodontist. So I lightweight got in trouble because I'm supposed to be wearing my rubber bands and I haven't been wearing them like I'm supposed to. Um, and I'm still not fucking wearing them. I'm going to put them on right now. I've been busting the mission to come see my orthodontist um, just because I don't want to let him go. Like, I really like that office. Like, let me just tell you guys, like, braces are life-changing, like... When I look back at my videos, I'm like, damn, like, my girl is fucked up. Like, I had a badass underbite, and I swear, like, braces, like, they really fucking are life-changing. And to whoever out there, like, wants braces, but, like, you're worried about, you know, the money, or you feel like it's going to be expensive. Like, honestly, if you guys are in Sacramento, you guys should try out my dentist. It's called Precision Orthodontist, and you guys, like, I'm paying, like, I'm paying for my braces, like, this is not sponsored or anything i just want to help you guys i just want to help you guys out but anyways um i just pulled up to my nail girl's shop i pulled up to alondra shop i swear like i cannot get over my nail girl like i fucking love her you guys if you guys are in sacramento anyways i don't have my orthodontist card with me but i'll put the information in the description box if you guys are interested in checking out the office i'll also put alondra's instagram name in the description box if you guys want to check them out so i'm getting my nails done they're still kind of fresh i've only had this set for about a week um i got them done in la i'm sorry if it looks a little blurry but you know she did a good job i like you know i like the shape the colors are pretty so basically where i went in la it's like a, um it's like a, a nail supply shop so um i didn't know this when i went but basically uh when you go there you pay like 50 dollars and like they'll hook up your nails and stuff but like you you don't get to pick what style the color you don't pick anything and like i wasn't aware of that so she basically put like these fall colors on me and like don't get me wrong like it, they're pretty and stuff but like me personally like i'm not a fan of like holiday nails or like season nails or seasonal nails like i just like my shit cute you know she had put like a leaf on it and everything and i was like i was not feeling it uh, but I mean other than that they look cute now, but it's not really like my style or what I was looking for So my girl Londra, she always hooks me up and does whatever I want. So I'm gonna show you guys how she gets down. All right, you guys So I'm here with my favorite nail girl in the whole wide world <laughs> You guys so this is my famous nail girl Londra. If you guys haven't checked her out, make sure you guys check her out. Is that your Instagram name, Alondra? Yeah. Okay, check yeah, her out. I'll put it in the description <laughs> box also. Alondra, what did I tell you before? That I might have side bitches, but I will never leave you. Yes, you did tell me that before you left. And here I am again. You can't get rid of me. You guys, so right now Alondra's putting the tips on me. Wait, what are these called, Alondra? Forms. The forms, my bad. Um, she's putting on the forms on me. I don't like the tips um, Just because I feel like they kind of break faster 
and they kind of curl a little bit and I feel like with the forms your tip comes out more straight and I feel like they last longer so I usually get these look at my Freddy Krueger hands these what are for these this is what forms look like you see how it makes like your nail like straight but ever since I got the forms like I have not gone back so right now Alondra's putting these little pretty flakes on my nails every time I come I want her to put everything on my nails because everything's so cute all right you guys so we're almost done we're just adding the diamonds you guys already know I love stripper nails like all of my nail sets are always fucking extravagant as fuck and if it was up to me I would throw all these motherfuckers on my nails and this is the finished product look at my girl gets down when I say my girl gets down she gets down and these motherfuckers will last me a whole month so shout out to the best nail girl all right thank you Alondra thank you for hearing all my cheese and all my drama I can't share with you guys because you guys are gonna put me on blast but anyway all right guys so now that I basically handled all the business I had here in SAC it's time for me to drive back but since Ali's kind of a long drive, it's like a six hour drive. What I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna stay the night in Fresno. And then from Fresno, I'm gonna drive back to LA tomorrow. So that way I catch a little break. What's up you guys? Today is another day, another day, another dollar. And I'm now here in Fresno. Um, my girl was nice enough to let me stay at her house. So um, today I have a busy day. Um, last night the drive was pretty long. Oh, and I got a little bit of like a little little teeny cheesema for you guys. So for those of you guys who remember my cheesema video of uh, me and my boo getting caught up when we went on a date, um, if you guys remember that video, um, I actually seen David last night. Uh, but it was like you know I was just catching up with him. Uh, me and him are still really good friends. So. And he actually told me he's seen uh, my video. So I was like lightweight, like a little embarrassed. But I'm like, oh, well, fuck it, you know. But he was like, oh, so you made a video about me. But I'm like, don't feel special. Um, but anyway, so today's another day. I'm going to go visit some of uh, my close friends today. Um, one of my best friends is at work right now. So we're going to roll up on her. It's, right now, I'm rolling in a fucking rental because... Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I recently got in a car accident and I basically don't have a car right now. Um, so I have um, my insurance car right now. I mean, I have my rental car right now. But this motherfucker has had, they give it to me with the, fu the tire fucked up. Like the air just keeps coming out. So basically um, where she works at, it's like a tire shop and shit. So they're going to fix it for me. So we're going to roll up on my bestie right now. What are you going to do? Shut up? No, I'm just, tired? I'm just doing like a vlog like what I did today. So. Oh all right you guys so i pulled up to my best friend's work say hello you guys need tires let me know my girl right here where are we at brit Firestone. yeah brit so it's been forever i had to tell my girl because she's a little camera shy so i was like bitch you better have on makeup oh before man i, I wish come. she would have warned me no it's cool me and this girl we've been through so much shit together like you guys don't even know like we have stories for fucking days oh, like I got in my first fight with her and she taught me how to fight. <laughs> so we we've been through some shit. Sorry if I'm a little sweaty. Fresno is hot as fuck, you guys. Like you guys just don't even understand how hot it is out here. So yeah, so my best friend's working right now, but she's about to be on her lunch. Yes. And we're gonna go get my fave, me and Ned. So we'll check it out right now. Yeah. Alright you guys, this is my favorite fucking pizza ever. Check this out. So fucking fire oh my god and the ranch is even more fire so whenever you guys are in fresno i strongly suggest you guys hit up me and ed they're fucking bomb but this is my favorite pizza ever so i'm gonna show you guys how i eat this right now and i still have to buy another pizza for bread she wants one too all right you guys i'm gonna i'm gonna do the fetish fight with you guys I call it fetish fight. so the way i eat my pizza is I dip it in the ranch. Oh my god, you guys, this ranch is fucking fire. So I have dip it. I fucking love ranch. Breaking my diet for you. Mm. 
Dude, what about when we used to work at Cricket? That shit was crazy. Oh my god, you guys, so um, we used to work for um, Cricket Wireless, right? So basically, my boss um, owned Cricket and he owned a Boost Mobile all at this mall. It's called Manchester Mall in uh, Fresno. So it was funny because like, she, okay, so basically Brittany, she has a sister, but like they're both my best friends. We're all we're all like a little clique. We're all really really close. So all of our squad worked at Cricket. Remember? That was the good old days. So like all like it was all of the like the whole squad worked at Cricket. So oh my god, you guys, the Cricket customers, customers man. at Manchester Mall. Oh my god, like craziness, you guys. Like and then I remember like I was the only Spanish speaker, and these bitches they would piss me off because people I I would have all the Spanish speakers. Because, like they would give me a long ass line because they didn't know Spanish. The most complicated one. Yeah, and I was the one that worked like the fucking like I worked hella because these bitches didn't know fucking Spanish. So Oh Brit, how many times did the customers say that they were gonna bomb the store? Once a week. Oh my god Once you guys. And like we used to have like you know like we used to have a lot of like tweakers going because um the basically the mall where we worked at is like the most ratchet mall there. Well, well besides Brazil. Fulton, Fulton's oh, pretty yeah. bad too, but Manchester's like more up, and um, it's kind of like in a bad area. So like, dude, we would have like fucking cholos, we would have fucking tweakers, hella like, gang bangers. You guys, oh my god, like. They'll be tatted like all right here. The girls, but tattoos, tattooed everywhere. No offense to my people with tattoos, yeah. but like we were just a little cray cray. Like these people, like and then you know we had people who had like unfortunately like not to make fun of them, they had like mental issues. Oh my god, you guys! Like we would like people would try to fight us. We've been to it. We worked with two, two jobs together. Oh yeah. Oh and. Yep. Your girl used to work at a preschool, believe it or not. Yeah, before before we blew up, preschool teacher what five years? Um, four years. Yeah, four years like years. like three. I work well. I worked there three years. And I worked there four years. Yeah. So we actually, me and her met when we were like 17, 18. She um, was my son's preschool teacher. Yeah, I potty trained her kid, yep. you guys. He yep. was in. He was He's in my class. Thirteen now. Yeah, believe it or not, okay, and I didn't and I didn't have a potty mouth around the kids, okay, for you motherfuckers that be talking shit. <laughs> you know why you guys this girl she right like, die. she did a lot of shit for me. Like she was there for me when I had to get into fights with bitches. She was ready back. to beat bitches ass for me all Definitely. the time. I would have to hold her back. I would call her Debo. Yeah. Like she was well, like my big sister. Like she's actually like shorter than me, but this bitch is like, you know, she's cray cray. <laughs> oh my god, no, Britt, let's see the story when um, I was hella going through it and I got drunk by myself at your apartment. Remember you couldn't I got find so me? scared. So, you know, I picked up Moni. You know, she called me up. She was like, Brett, you need to come pick me up. So I went to go get you. And then I was like, hey, we have a bottle. What was it, vodka? It was vodka. This one I used to drink vodka. Yeah. I was younger and I don't fuck with yeah. it now. But back so then it was Back in the days, you know. Had some vodka on top of the refrigerator. Yeah. And we mixed it with some drink and juice. And then sure enough, you know, we got chocolate wasted together and I passed out. You passed out early on me, bitch, I, and I was still going through it. I was I listened, I listened to your feelings. But I thought I passed out on the um, the bed. I woke up and I was like, what the fuck? Where's Monique at? Fucking shit. My I had a two bedroom on the west side at the time. Checked her I checked my my room, checked uh, my son's room, the living room. I like in, and my son at the time was like three or four. So I had a latch, so he couldn't open the door. So that shit was locked. And I was like, how the fuck did this bitch get out of my apartment? Oh my God, so we killed out you. Went outside to my little patio. You weren't out there. So then I found her in the restroom. <laughs> Oh my god, out. you guys. So and I got so scared. I never had my heart beating because so, I thought you, someone kidnapped you. Dude, all I remember is like I woke up in her bed and I was like, what the fuck? Like, I don't remember coming to bed. And she's like, bitch, I got up and I was, I fucking went outside to go look for you. I, I went and I was looking in all the rooms and I couldn't find you. She, and she's like, I had to scream your name, Mo! I and was she was like, And she was like, all I heard is, uh. And she's like, I went in the bathroom and I found you on the floor next to the toilet. And I'm like, oh. But then like, you know how when you guys get fucked up, like later on you start remembering shit? And then, okay, so I remember a little bit. So, 
Basically, this bitch passed out off on me. Thanks a lot, and I was fucking going through it, and I got more fucked up. So, and then I was listening to like, like, like slow, sad music, slow jams. I was listening to slow jams. I even drunk down one of my girls, and I'm like, bitch, I'm going through it. That's the last thing I remember, you guys. So I'm, I'm assuming I started throwing up, and I ran to the bathroom, and I guess I just set up shop next to the bathroom because I was just like throwing up too much. But yeah, man, that was. Yeah, you guys, don't get fucked up by yourselves because that shit's depressing as fuck. You guys, so for my first fight, like, because this bitch, she's a fighter, like, so, uh, retired. retired. Yeah, so, uh, I, I, like, I was, that was my first fight, right? But before, it was, like, kind of like a meetup. And I'm like, Brittany, but I don't know how to fight. She's like, bitch, like, I'm a teacher. She just starts, like, fucking her. No, right? didn't I use Ruben, your nephew, to show you oh how to drop Oh, my God, my little nephew, too. She, like, she's like, look, this is how you drop a bitch. And she did, like, some wrestling shit. I'm like, bitch, I don't know how to do that shit. And she's like, okay, bitch, here, fight me. And she starts, like, socking me. <laughs> well, bitch, how to learn. She's like, well, you're going to learn today. Good, Good times. times. Good, Good times. times. Yeah. All right, guys, so I brought you to my apartment where I grew up. So, like, this is where I grew up. Um, the apartment in the back with the sign on it, that's actually the apartment where I used to live at. I lived in that apartment for, like, maybe, like, 13, 12 years, like, hella long you guys and i have so many memories in that apartment like i went through so much shit in that apartment um i grew up in the north side of fresno cambridge street so i grew up on cambridge and like um these apartments i don't know how they are now but back in the day like when i lived here like in 2000 i think i lived here when i moved here it was like 2014 and it was so fucking ratchet like there was always like cops on this street um the fucking choppers were always out and they would fucking shine the light on our apartments like the apartments that are actually like next to these apartments they're like um like there's like hella tweakers and shit and like i don't know like this street is like hot but um when i used to live in these apartments you guys like um i never really got like good sleep just because there was a lot of shit happening in the like in this neighborhood basically when i used to live in these apartments i had a peeping tom so i had a um i had a peeping tom maybe for like a year or two years and um we would call the cops and shit and um they never did shit like and on top of that they would take like two fucking hours to come so basically um this man this white man um i think he would come from like the apartments next door like where all the tweakers are at and shit and um he would try to open up my window and it, it's specifically my room like he never tried to open up my mom's room he would always try to open my window <clears throat> so oh my god you guys like it got to the point where i started sleeping with a knife under my pillow i remember one time my mom got fed up because like every time that we called the cops like he was already fucking gone and it's like he kept coming back you know so one day my mom was fed up and she's like ya de este hijo de su pinche madre, lo voy a matar. and i'm like what are you talking about lady and like she's straight up like she's and it was nighttime you guys so like she goes like to the back of like the apartments like where the windows are at and um she goes back there and then she's like i'm gonna fucking kill him and i'm like how are you gonna fucking kill him you don't even have a weapon so i went and i got a big ass knife and i followed her because i was fucking scared i'm like this lady's about to get like they're about to kill her you know so i go back there and he actually ran like he actually ran away like once my mom was going back there thank god because if not who knows like how who knows how i would have ended it when i used to live here um there was this other like there was a tweaker that lived here too and um he was like a cholo too i swear i had bad luck with fucking cholos and long story short like i had my i had my little nephew living with me at the time and um let me get in the car because i don't know if he still lives here and i'm over here talking shit i'm not trying to get blasted he used to live in this apartment right here with his mom he used to live in that apartment with his mom right he used to tell my my little nephew which is the twins brother he used to live with me here in fresno and he would ask him like hey like um he would be like oh i watch your aunt when she comes home from work and then like, my nephew would be like what he would ask my nephew like oh um in what room do you sleep in like 
what who asks this shit like that right like he was just saying weird ass shit and then like one day you guys he um he tried to add me on facebook right and i was like what the fuck so like i didn't add him but i actually like went like i went on his um i like i just like i looked at his face i didn't accept him or anything i just looked at his facebook and um he tell me why this motherfucker got a picture of me i don't even know how he got it but he got a picture of me and put it on his facebook and made it seem like i was his girl and i was like that's some creepy ass shit so my mom used to be friends like with his mom right so um I told my mom, I'm like, mom, like, and at the time, it was just me and my little nephew living at this house, right? And, like, I was scared because, like, basically, like, the windows are fucking flimsy as fuck. One time I had to break into my own house, and, um, well, me and my sister had to break into the house, and, like, I had to break my sliding door. Like, we broke into it with a fucking shovel. Like, only my ratchet ass sister would know how to break into a house with a fucking shovel. But anyways, like, the sliding door didn't really work. So, I was scared as fuck. He's asking, like, where I sleep and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, he's probably trying to, like, rape me or something. And, like, my nephew would always take off with his little girlfriend and shit. So, like, you know, I'll be sleeping there by myself a lot of times. So, I told my mom one day, I'm like, you know what, mom? Like, this dude is weird. Like, he's fucking asking... You know, he's asking Ruben, like, where I sleep at or wh where he, what room he sleeps at. And he'd be watching me when I get out of work. And that, um, and I was like, Mom, he even put a picture of me on his Facebook. Like, that's weird as fuck. I'm like, but Mom, don't say anything because I don't want no problems. Like, you know, I don't, I don't want no problems. I don't want to make it bigger than what it is. You tell a Mexican mom not to say something and it's like you're encouraging her to go fucking say the whole cheese, man. Literally, after I told my mom what happened and I'm like, don't say anything. Two days later, I get up and, you know, I get up hella early and I, I go to, um, I go outside to get in my car, right? Bitch, tell me why my front, my front windshield is smashed in and my back windshield, right? So I was like, what the fuck and i'm thinking like what what, what like I'm, th I'm thinking about all the bitches that don't like me right but i'm like hold up like i don't got i don't got problems with nobody right now you know like i'm mutual with everybody like i'm cool with everybody and i'm thinking like who could have done it who could have done it lord behold um the fucking tweaker cholo comes up to me right he's like i know who did that to your car and I'm like, and I when I seen him walking, like, and it's funny, you guys, because when I seen him walking up to me, I was like, it was you, motherfucker. But I'm thinking that in my head, right? And then he's like, and then he goes up to me, and he has a fucking nerve to be like, I know who did that to your car. And I was like, who did that to my car? Oh, so he was like, um, yeah, see, what happened was, you know that Honda that be parking in front of my house? Because, like, there would be another Honda parking in front of his house, right? So he was like, yeah, you know that Honda that parks in front of my house? And I'm like, what about it? He's like, well, I told my girl to go fuck up a car, which was the Honda in front of the house, but they confused it for your car. So they messed up your car. I'm like, so you're fucking telling me that you sent your friend to go fuck up my car? And he was like, no, it wasn't your car, though. And you guys, I wanted to take flight on him so fucking bad. Like, this is the only time I wish I had a man, because... Like, I wanted to beat his ass myself, but I'm like, dude, I'm like, okay, first of all, like, he's a fucking, like, he's a fucking tweaker. They're capable of anything. And then on top of that, like, he was, like, he was a fucking cholo, and he was always in and out of jail. So, like, I was, like, way scared, you know? And, like, his, his mom would always tell my mom that he was crazy ass fuck. So, I'm like, so I didn't even argue with him. I'm like, okay, then, well, that's good to know. And I just fucking walked away from him. Good thing good thing i um i got that shit fixed like i got it fixed um right away um i actually had it fixed within like after i seen it like within an hour i had my shit fixed and i walked out and i fucking drove out of my car like and i and i and i rolled out looking at him like yeah motherfucker like i fixed my shit like you know you didn't affect my life you know but i call i call my mom I'm like mom did you fucking tell his mom what I told you and I told you not to tell her? And he's like, pues sí, es que tenía miedo que te iba a hacer algo. So she fucking told him because she, she said she was scared for me. I'm like, you just made the situation a whole lot worse, mom. He fucked up my fucking car. After that, you guys, like, I swear I couldn't live in that house anymore. 
because that I think that was like the last that was the last year I that was the last year I stayed in that house because I was fucking scared like I'm like dude like I got this fucking peeping Tom over here and then I got this fucking tweaker cholo like you know trying to fucking find out where I sleep now he's breaking my windows and shit like what's the next step you know so I was like I, I was dead, you guys. So I ended up moving out of the hood. Like this was li this was the hood, you guys. One time, I could tell you guys story for days. So where that black SUV is at? Before, like my mom knew that I smoked, I would like hotbox my little Honda, right? So like my windows were tinted and shit. So I would like, I would jump in the back seat and I would just smoke and shit. And oh my god! So one time I was lit as fuck. It was probably like. It was probably like midnight and I was in my car smoking and shit. Tell me why this fucking tweaker comes up and starts pounding on my door. So imagine being high as fuck and you know you're in the zone and it's nighttime and this tweaker starts fucking like um this tweaker starts fucking like pounding on your door like hey and I was like oh my god like oh my god you guys so much crazy shit happened. Um there a house down next to the a house down somebody got fucking killed right there they had a house party and they got killed my fucking boy got shot down the street like it's just so much crazy shit what happened in this neighborhood like uh, i don't know how it is now i don't know if it calmed down now but like back when i lived here like in 2014 like that shit was crazy thing like and now now i look back and i'm like damn like i really appreciate like like I came from the hood too you guys but like I there was times where I couldn't sleep because I was scared for my own life Like I had to fucking sleep with the knife and shit. So like I'm so happy. I made it out the hood You know, I'm not living like in a fucking luxurious house with in a luxurious lifestyle But I'm way better off what I than what I was before and like I know it doesn't look good as fuck you guys But I'm telling you like this shit used to be bad like they remodeled these motherfuckers because before they looked worse like everything was falling apart so they must have got a little loan or something to fix these motherfuckers because they didn't look like this back in 2014 but i just wanted to show you guys my head and where more money was raised all right you guys so i am at my last stop and guess where i'm at before i leave i'm at me and ed so i got like hella pizzas because the twins want a pizza like we all fucking love me and ed that's how serious it is but this was my last stop in Fresno, you guys. Um, it's like 8 o'clock right now, and I got to drive back to LA. It's like a three and a half hour drive. So I'm a little tired, but I'm going to push through over there. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little vlog. Um, I hope you guys like my little trip. Let me know what you guys think about my video. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. I'm getting, I'm trying to get the hang of this vlogging thing, you guys. So just give me a little bit of patience. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And thank you guys for watching Mo Money's channel.